Hey friends, yesterday uh, I had a little fun and I posted a composite image where I put the Death Star over a landscape photo and got a lot of positive feedback on that with the blending and so I wanted to show you how I did that and I'm gonna do it in Photoshop um, and you can use this technique to, to overlay composites of anything but most of the time you see this with people doing composites of of the moon you know you can't get a super moon shot where both the foreground and the and the telephoto shot of the moon are both in focus it just doesn't work so anytime you see a shot like that where it's where it's like the hardcore giant moon it's most likely a composite in Photoshop so I'm in Lightroom here and uh, I've just got this image here that I've uh, captured over the summer, um, you know, nice uh, sunset over a wind farm in eastern Colorado. And I'm going to just go ahead and send that to Photoshop uh, CC. I've already done my basic adjustments on this image. Okay, and uh, made it into Photoshop here. And um, now what I want to do is I need to put an image uh, that I want to composite on top of this one in another layer. So I, I went online and just found uh, a freely available photograph, uh, you know, an image of the Death Star. Um, but it could be the moon. It could be a shot that you, you captured of, of the moon or anything for that matter. But I like this shot because the background is nice and black. It, it's going to allow me to overlay this quite nicely. So I'm in my Photo Mechanic browser here. I'm going to just select this image from Photo Mechanic in my browser and you can do this from the from your file browser or from Bridge wherever. I'm just going to drag it onto the Photoshop window and here it is. I'm going to use the resize handles to just make this a more appropriate size. So hold down the shift key when you grab one of these corners and you will resize the image proportionally. So if you want a giant Death Star or a small one. And then hit enter on your keyboard to, to lock that in. And you can see that this Death Star image is now up here in the second layer. This, uh, this uh, layer on my image above the background. So what's nice about Photoshop is that I can do layer masking I can do layer blending and for this one what we're gonna just do is real simple just blend this together um, my my blending technique uh, rather than try to mask out and uh, all of the black I'm just gonna change the blending mode um, to screen and when you do that you can see that that it creates this nice translucent overlay you can see the clouds still through the image I could try lighten but that's going to hide all the dark spots on the on the Death Star. So I'm going to go ahead with with screen. And then what I want to do is um, I can adjust the layer opacity if I want to to make this show up lighter or or more transparent. So if I want just sort of a pale Death Star, but I can also adjust the contrast of the Death Star itself. So to do that, I'm going to add an adjustment layer. So let, let me just add a brightness contrast adjustment layer from the adjustments panel. And what I want to do is I want this adjustment to only affect my Death Star layer. I don't want it to affect the background. So if I just do, do it by default, it's going to affect the entire image globally. So the trick here is to hold down the, the, um, the Alt or Option key on your keyboard and put the mouse right between these two layers here and you see that the cursor is going to change to this little arrow is square and you click it and when you do that this adjustment now becomes locked only to this topmost layer and so I can adjust the brightness and the contrast so that I'm only affecting this one layer so this would be your moon that's no moon that's a death star right so Anyway, uh, once I'm done, I can go ahead and, and save this and be returned to Lightroom with my composite image and export it out. So that's a quick and dirty way of adding a composite moon, Death Star, whatever, anything that's a bright object on a black or dark background uh, onto your image and have some fun making a composite. Until next time, I'm Jason O'Dell. Check out my website, luminescentphoto.com. I'll see you.